I don't know when they're coming. I know we're getting real close to 11 o'clock, and I know uh, you'll hear them when they come. But uh, I've got word that they're all getting ready, and everything uh, looks good down there. So let's hope we don't get any misty, cold rain, and, uh, and have a great morning here for the Silver Spurs Rodeo Parade. Thank you all for being here. Oh, and remember, yeah, you, yeah sure. Clap for Clarence. Clarence is a good guy. Me, not so much. No. <laughs> Remember, tonight, 7.30, 7.30, uh, the big arena. This will be the biggest night of the rodeo tonight. It'll be a packed house. The fair is still going on as well. The kids will be selling their market steers tonight. We're excited about that. So 7.30 tonight. If you want to go to the matinee, the family fun day, that is 2 o'clock on Sunday. 2 o'clock on Sunday. Uh, we had our Monster Bulls event last Saturday. We had a great show last night. Uh, the governor was there. Right? Do we have any Governor DeSantis fans out here? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. So, uh, so Representative, uh, State Representative Hawkins was there last night. He was uh, able to get Governor DeSantis. We were just talking about that earlier. The first governor to come to the Silver Spurs Rodeo since uh, Lawton Childs. What was that, Clarence? Do you remember? You were still middle aged back then. <laughs> Back in the 70s, he said. So I know the Silver Spurs quadrille who you're going to see here today has ridden in many a gubernatorial inauguration parades uh, over the years, uh, starting back in the 40s. Uh, I know my sister rode in one, I think for Jeb Bush when he came in, and I think it was about 15 degrees in Tallahassee that morning. Uh, they didn't know how to deal with frozen water buckets and all those things, but they had to. Uh, so we were very excited to have Governor DeSantis last night. Uh, tonight will even be a bigger crowd and a bigger show. Kids can't scramble, so if any of the kids, uh, they let you out on the floor during the middle of the show, so that's exciting. We still do that. And, uh, so look, 7.30 tonight, 2 o'clock tomorrow. Come to the rodeo. Come check out the fair. I heard this is going to clear out. Uh, I'm just making that up. I don't know how I watched the weather today. I've been busy. <laughs> 5 o'clock. It's clearing out. So uh, it's going to be beautiful, 70 degrees, uh, going to get down into the low 50s. So just beautiful, beautiful weather tonight if we can get this front out of the way. So I see some lights going down there. I'm going to shut up. Uh, appreciate all of you for being here. I want to thank Mr. Thacker for being here as well. Thank him for his service as he uh, is not seeking re-election to the school board. He's done two terms. He's been the chairman three or four times. He's done such a fantastic job. If you would do me a favor, can we thank Mr. Thacker for his service uh, to the kids of Osceola County? He's done a fantastic job. Thank you, Clarence. <laughs> I see him coming down there, but the natives were getting restless. So I thought, well, anytime I see somebody in a non-SEC uniform, I have to, have to, yes, question that. <laughs> How many Gators we got here today? Oh my goodness, I'm a Gator, yeah, go Gators. <laughs> I don't even wanna hear none, none of this mess about Seminoles. Do we have some Ohio State fans here today? Hey, here's your Michigan guy right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How many UCF fans do we have here? Oh my goodness, goodness, goodness. You know, uh, Mr. Thacker here and I, we're pretty big Gator fans. I'm a Gator grad, and I can tell you, we, we both knew when they signed up for that bowl game, there was nothing good that could come out of that. Nothing good. Win or lose, it was going to be bad for the Gators. And uh, they just made it extra, extra bad. But we got Coach Napier coming in this year. I think we're going to turn things around. The raging Cajun himself, we're going to get it turned around. This is the only time you can just play in the streets of St. Cloud without, <laughs> I love it. I see him coming down there now. I see him coming. I'll give you a little taste of what we're going to see. We Right up front we'll have our Grand Marshal, some uh, special people, our, our um, Coca-Cola Cowboys and Women's Lifetime uh, Achievement Award winners. We've got Miss Silver Spurs and her court, the big, who knows the big blue boot, right? Everybody knows the big blue boot. Now, there we go. 
Everybody knows the big blue boot here in Osceola County. It's going to be right up front. I think I see it shining down the road down there. We've got our state representative, Fred Hawkins, coming. Oh, Miss Katrina Scarborough's joined us this morning, our property appraiser. She does a fantastic job for us. I see, well, we've got the Harmony Pop Warner. All right, good deal, yeah. Way to go, guys. And I tell you, you guys are in for a treat. When we get down to um, entry number 43, we've got Mr. Jed Sewell. Um, I don't know how, if you guys have been around here, big rodeo fans for a long time, his dad, Mr. Gary Sewell, used to run the Kissimmee Sports Arena over there on the west side of Kissimmee. Uh, that's actually where I started my rodeo announcing career, uh, my low level rodeo announcing career. Uh, but Jed is his son, he's continuing on with the tradition. I know he does uh, some corporate retreats and things like that, but he, when you get to see what he's riding, or at least walking with today, you're, it's a treat. I got to see it earlier. He was having a little trouble with it earlier, so don't, maybe don't let your kids run out into the middle of the road. <laughs> but we, we certainly thank Jed for being here, uh, and thank Gary. Uh, unfortunately, passed away a few years ago, but what a what an outstanding. Actually, he was a former uh, lifetime Coca-Cola Cowboy. A lifetime achievement award winner for the Silver Spurs did uh, such a service to the Silver Spurs Rodeo Club by having the Kissimmee Sports Arena over there for so many years. Where because we raise our own stock, we're one of the few rodeo committees in the United States that has our own stock program. We raise our own bulls, we raise our own horses. If you're ever driving down by down in Keenansville, right before you get to Highway 4, 441 on Canoe Creek Road. Uh, that's the new Silver Spurs property. We've got an arena down there uh, where we can do some smaller events. And we have uh, have all of our stock roaming free on 1,400 acres down there. So they only have to work about six or seven times a year. And then the rest of the year, they get to be fat and happy down in Keenansville. So I think it's time for me to quit talking because I think we're ready for this 2022 Silver Spurs Rodeo Parade. Thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. Well, they came up here, got us excited, then they left us. The Osceola County Sheriff's Department, we certainly thank them for being here today with their motorcycle crew. Uh, look, they're probably uh, walking down the way there. My mother's probably talking to too many people, or my father, so they can't keep the truck moving. How about a big round of applause for our St. Cloud Police Department. Thank you guys. Protecting and serving the city of St. Cloud each and every day. Our new sheriff, Sheriff Marco Lopez. Thank you, Sheriff, and thank you to the Osceola County Sheriff's Department Motorcycle Division today. We appreciate you. 
And next coming up are the Osceola High School Air Force Junior ROTC. And I'm taking a little privilege as a school board member. The ROTC programs in Osceola County are second to none. Massive programs at Gateway High School, Hope High School, St. Cloud High School, Osceola High School. A lot of us should be really proud of these guys. Each year, as Mr. Booth just mentioned, the uh, Silver Spurs Honors Lifetime Achievement Award winner. Coming up uh, in the uh, beautiful new Ford truck are uh, Tommy and Martha Booth, and Mike and Brenda Wilder, and also we are honoring two uh, of our members who have passed away recently, uh, Brenda Hensel and Clemmie Jo Lamb. No, I just wanted to make sure we honored these folks. And these folks are the Grand Marshals of the parade today. Give them a big round of applause. Thank you for your years and years of service. We appreciate you. And uh, Martha. And just, just to be clear, yeah. two of these are uh, Ricky's parents. Yeah, I wasn't going to say anything. So no, <laughs> but I'll say it. In case I'll they embarrass it. themselves later. <laughs> but Fran, uh, Ma Ma Martha, Martha, like Martha, have you seen Fran? Okay. <laughs> So thank you guys. Thank you, Mr. Bob and <laughs> Next coming up is the uh, Miss Silver Spurs Court. Uh, Miss Silver Spurs, Harper Pack. Little Miss Silver Spurs, first runner up. Grant Osborne, Little Miss Silver Spurs. Congeniality, Keegan Frey, Miss Silver Spurs, Anthony Bow Jr. I'm sorry, Junior Miss Silver Spurs. Bailey Janine, Miss Silver Spurs, first runner up. Lacey Church. Miss Silver Spurs, Congeniali, Congeniali, Delia Benitez, Miss Silver Spurs, Congeniali. That was double printed. Hey, here is the queen and their court, ladies and gentlemen. These are the folks that do it all year long, representing Osceola County and representing the Silver Spurs Club all across the state of Florida. Thank you very much. There's. I'll say it right, Clarence. It's Jenin, okay? Bailey Jenin. There we go. <laughs> I actually know that. It just I know you do that. I know you do that. All right, City of St. Cloud. Next coming up is the uh, City of St. Cloud City Council. Uh, they're riding in the rodeo day style in their horse-drawn carriage. Mayor Nathan Blackwell, Deputy Mayor Lynette Matheny, along with Council Members Keith Trace, Dave Askew. And Colby Irvin, they're excited. St. Cloud is once again hosting the Rodeo Day Parade. Hey, how you doing? Ladies and gentlemen, how about a big round of applause for your St. Cloud City Council members? Here. I'm going to turn it over to Mayor Blackwell for like 10 seconds, okay. <laughs> We just uh, love St. Cloud and want to encourage all of you to come out to the rodeo and having a great time there. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Mayor. We appreciate you. Thank you, Council Great Master. job, Mayor, with your 10 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> you did great. Thank you. you got to be Thank careful handing microphones to politicians. And speaking of politicians, our state representatives following closely behind. Representative Fred Hawkins. Mr. Hawkins, thank you for getting the governor here in our county last month. Great job. Well, you know, if I handed it to the mayor, I've got to hand it to our state representative. Ten seconds, Fred. Good morning. It's just so good to be back home in Osceola County. I am Osceola County proud, and I am so proud that we're continuing this heritage. Y'all come out to the rodeo. Come out and support those kids, 4-H, raising those animals. We cannot lose our history and heritage. God bless you all. It's great to be here with you today. Awesome. Thank you, Representative Hawkins. Yeah, that was he was the man last night. Got the governor. Got the governor. Great job, Representative Hawkins. Thank you. Next up is our property appraiser, Katrina Stoller. Hey. She does great. Give her a big. She, she deserves more than that. Give her a she, big round of applause. She does a great awesome. job for her. Any questions you have on homestead exemptions or any of your property tax issues, please reach out. Thank you very much, Katrina. Thank you, Katrina. We are lucky, lucky, lucky. Hey, Clarence, I got 
Now, listen here, we've got Rodeo Royalty in the house. Please welcome Miss Rodeo America, Haley Fredrickson. And Miss Rodeo Canada, Jaden Calvert. Did I say it right? All right. I don't know, I think Colorado is what they told me. I'm assuming you're from Canada. But I'd like to give you guys both the opportunity to uh, address the city of St. Cloud and Osceola County here, if you wouldn't mind. Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for welcoming us into the Sunshine State of Florida. We are so excited. Coming from Colorado and, of course, Canada, we are greatly enjoying the warmer weather here. And we can't wait to see you all tonight at 7 at the Silver Spurs Rodeo. Thank you all for your warm hospitality. It's making this Canadian girl really enjoying it here in Florida. I can't wait to see you all at the rodeo. And if you see any of us royalty there tonight, please stop us and say hi. That's awesome. Hey, we are honored to have Miss Rodeo America and Miss Rodeo Canada, Haley Fredrickson from Colorado and Jaden Calvert from Canada, but say where. But uh, thank you guys, we appreciate you coming all the way down. And following closely behind are land title professionals, helping others one closing at a time. A full service title company with offices in Lake Nona and St. Cloud. Yeah. Like them on Facebook, follow them on Instagram. Yeah, and, and, and look who's pulling the truck. You know he had to get, you know Gary had to get a little a little advertising in there. Go see Gary catch him and kiss him back. Gold Key Roofing, 46 years of roofing business in Osceola County. Call for free estimates or inspections anytime. Hey, look, and, and will you bring the dog if you come over and do some work? Yes, he's there. He is the inspector. <laughs> The squirrel inspector, I think, yeah. Awesome. Next up. Thank you, guys. Harmony Longhorn Youth Football and Cheer Association. Please give them a big hand. They were established in 2008 as a nonprofit organization. They serve over 200 families each season and live in St. Cloud in East Osceola County. They strive to provide a safe, fun, athletic learning experience for our children, emphasizing the importance of sportsmanship, teamwork, and academic success. Great job, guys. Go Longhorns, yeah. They even let me coach flag football a little bit. Oh, my God. <laughs> I see. Oh, there's one of my, my stars right there, Miss Lily. Next up, Jane Meadows Stables. Hey, Jade Meadows, always in the parade. Come enjoy the beautiful natural landscape of Florida. Florida has to offer on horseback trail rides daily. Daily trail rides? Daily. All right. Exciting. We also have lessons for all riders. Western and English. Taylor Services. Taylor Services, that's you guys? No. You, Home of the chicken waffles. What? Where are you guys? Oh, the loading gastro. Loading gastro okay. Brunch. Yes, go right there. there. I love right it. Right over here, yes. in the corner. You need to go. You need to go. You need to be there. St. Cloud Fire and Rescue. Your local heroes. Everybody, get these. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you, St. Cloud, with the pink fire engine right here. Supporting the Pink Hills Foundation. That's a wonderful, wonderful foundation. By the way, a foundation that the Silver Spurs Rodeo Club has donated some of their proceeds to over the years. Thank you guys for your service. Following up is Fierce Athletics. They're an after school cheer and dance class in Orange and Osceola County. Get to participate in several community events throughout the year. Please look them up. I was going to say, we've got to get a cheer and dance. Yeah. <laughs> All I know is, you, you know somebody's not from Florida when they said they are enjoying the nice warm weather here today. I'm telling you what, I had to put two jackets on this morning to 
get here. I'm a Florida boy. All the beautiful things. Yeah. And then we got this spring. Yeah, exactly. That's about normal for rodeos. That's for right. Rodeos. That's right. When the, when the rodeos were outside, you could almost be sure it would be freezing in February. Yes, that's correct. All right, Fierce Athletics, everybody. You looking good, girls? Yeah. I'm going to say that might be the largest entry in the parade today. Maybe so. Thank you, guys. Awesome. Keystone Real Estate. Local full service real estate office on 10th Street in the heart of downtown St. Cloud. And there's the boss there's man in the church. You're supposed to be on the float if you're the boss man, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait a minute. Never mind. These yeah. these ladies are way better looking Much than you. Better. So thank you for being in the truck, Chris. <laughs> Followed by our classic cowgirls. These cowgirls are ride at patriotic openings and special events. They also perform trick riding. And Roman And, and guess what? Yes, guess what, Mr. Thacker? Do you see these two ladies? Are they doing it again tonight? It, not tonight, but last night we got to see Haley perform right here, our local cowgirl, and Jesse, right? We got to see these two cowgirls perform to open the show last night at the Silver Spurs Rodeo, the Friday night edition. Thank you, ladies. They were awesome. Bush Hog Services. All right. They own landscaping and lawn care company in St. Cloud. Your design, their time. Their float is dedicated to Tori Dean and her family. Thank you all Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. It was a real tragic event, what uh, happened over the past couple weeks. Thank you. That's the purple, the color all the 4-H kids have been wearing over the weekend uh, to honor Tori and help her family. They've got some silent auction things going on over there. Uh, wonderful, wonderful tribute. Thank you so much. We've got Starling Chevrolet, another one of our big local businesses. New and used car and truck, cars and trucks, full service center. Come see them at Starling Chevrolet Buick GMC for all your needs. Thank yep. you all for being here and thank you for supporting the community. Like you. And hey, they've got one of our resident Osceola cowgirls right here. Miss Wendy, how's it going? You doing good? Yeah. <laughs> Central Florida Athletic Association, please welcome these young ladies. Yay! Central Florida Association Sport League for all schools. Give me some spirit hands. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there we go. <laughs> they offer sports you didn't know I knew that. Private schools for middle and elementary school age children. They also have the Phoenix Track and Field Club, which provides additional training for our students and children in the Central Florida area. Coming up to all that is. Yeah, thank you guys. Hey, keep your kids in athletics. Keep them healthy. If you don't do that, one day they might end up looking like Clarence and I. So make sure they keep active. <laughs> Stay active, especially now. <laughs> thank you guys for being here. How about the Central Florida Athletic Association, everybody? All right. Next up is our patrol, our posse member. Welcome. Hey, you, they'll be out at the fair. You guys being out at the fair again tonight? Yep. If you want to go by, pet the horses or pet Jay, you can uh, do that out at the fair. <laughs> you can do that out at the fair tonight. Who, who we 
got here? Is this o Osceola Airboat Association? We're skipping a couple of clerks. There you go. Osceola Airboat Association, All nonprofit right. organization in the county, preserving our waterways and keeping the traditions of airboating alive. We did. Yes, thank you guys. They do a wonderful job trying to preserve the rights of folks to get out and uh, get on our lakes and get on our waterways here in Central Florida and Osceola County especially. Thank you. Next up, Green Cruising Automotive. Love mechanic shop here in St. Cloud. Family owned and operated for 20 plus years in St. Cloud. I think it's three cousins. Did you? Okay, I thought you said three cruisers. <laughs> Thank you guys. Uh, provide a wide range of automotive repair for services for your community. Support these people who are supporting us today. Yeah, same uh, hey, what, what, what float are you? Because we're all mixed up right here. Oh, you're still with Osceola Airboat. Well, you're confusing Clarence and I with all your signs. You got Ferrugi up here driving. Nobody knows what he's doing. We're very simple. <laughs> St. Cloud Bail Bonds. Yep. For over 15 years, you've been serving the community and helping put your loved ones back on their feet. You don't want to have to know them. Yes, you do. But if but you if need them, you need them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. I love the truck, by the way. Awesome. Oh, here we go. Here we go, Mr. Sewell. Jed Sewell is representing the Sewell family. Miss Joe Castleberry as well. Logan Johnson, a grandson of Joan, and Otis Thompson, an Osceola native. The first generation of the Sewell family set their roots here in Osceola back in 1913. They were known for their dairy farm business from 1934 until 1978. The late Gary Sewell, you heard me talk about him earlier, husband to Diane, father to Callie, Jed and Kathy, also brother to Joan. He was an avid, develop, avid developer and in a construction business. In 1992, he built a rodeo arena for his children to practice and they were active in the Florida Junior High School Rodeo Association. That Kissimmee Sports Arena went from 1993 to 2020. Thank you to the Sewell family. Thank you, Jed. And you can check him out doing trail rides, right? Yes, sir. Thank you, Jed. I'm going to have to let you do this one because I might be a little biased on the next one. I would be very honored and thrilled to do this one. Uh, <laughs> a candidate from the Osceola County School Board, District 5, coming for us now, Erica Booth. Yeah. And the much better looking Booth, yes, I might add. Yes. Yes, the much better looking Booth. <laughs> Erica, good luck to you. Thank you for being here today. Yes. And this young man carrying the pole, I gave him a nickname over Thanksgiving. His, his, that's Lukey Ray Cyrus over there. Achy, breaky heart himself. Thank you, Luke. I owe you 20 bucks. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. <laughs> and Granny Ruth, hold on, wait a minute. I gotta say something real quick. No, 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 I, I've got, hold up. I gotta say this. Because you know what? We've got a lot of heritage here in Osceola County. Thank you. And, but you know what else is a part of Osceola County is Disney World, right? Disney World's a big part. This lady sitting right here has been at Disney World since the day that it opened. She just celebrated 50 years of employment. Miss Ruth Ann Deach is right here. Congratulations. And she's also my mother-in-law. So, <laughs> so look, look at those points I just scored. Thank you. Sorry, Clarence. Go ahead. Good job. <laughs> and, uh, it'd be hard to see Ricky working for 50 years. That's one of the comments. <laughs> Next up is uh, Miss Rodeo Florida in court. Yes. Hold on. We got What's your name, young lady? Callie Teenan. All right. I know this one, but I'm going to have to hand it to her anyway. I'm Madison Gunther. Thank you, Madison. Who we got? I know these two ladies, too, but I'll let them say the name. I'm Ava Beauclair. She's the princess. I know her, too. This team, Rodeo Florida, Heavy Crosby. So she knows how to do it. And ladies and gentlemen, I'll let you tell a little bit about Please welcome Miss Rodeo Florida to the Silver Spurs Parade. <laughs> This is my hometown rodeo. I'm from St. Cloud, Florida, and I cannot tell you how I'm going to start crying. This is, it means a lot to be here right now as Mr. Newport. 
Yes, it does. Her family, some of the pioneer family here in Osceola County and some of the pioneer members of the Silver Spurs Rodeo Club. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to all of you guys. They represent Osceola County and the sport of rodeo well all across the state of Florida and throughout the nation. And here we have Officer, Lieutenant, whatever he is, Bo Claire. If you were at the fair last night and you couldn't get out, and then you, all of a sudden you did, he made it happen. So give him a big round of applause. Thank you, David. <laughs> and no rodeo would be a rodeo without rotary, rodeo clowns and announcers. So I'm going to turn this over to our go rodeo ahead, announcer right now, uh, Mr. Simons. Uh, Robbie, you going to speak? He's the pride of the Keystone State, Mr. Greg Simons. No, you're not. Well, thank oh. you so much. I tell you what, I've been here a long time. This is amazing to be here, and we love this this beautiful city and everything about it. We love the people of St. Cloud, and we look forward to y'all coming to the rodeo tonight. We're now we're going to turn the microphone over to Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, you, you, you're going to learn real quick who the clown of the rodeo is, and you need to come check them out tonight and tomorrow. But Ricky, Clarence, and I tell you this incredible thing, we brought it back in 2019. My name is Greg Simons. I'm the announcer. I've been honored to be here for seven years of the voice of your rodeo. And, and once again, legendary rodeo clown Robbie Hodges will be entertaining the crowd tonight. We have our bullfighters, the cowboy protection, the ones that take the shots from the 2,000-pound bulls. Richard Guthrie, Riley McKettrick, give them a round of applause. They're with yes, me. Well, yes, yes, sir. My son Caden up there. If you caught candy from him, then you got a pretty good hand because he throws them pretty fast. Ricky, Clarence, thank you. Silver Spurs, thank you for thank all you guys good. do. See you tonight. Yeah, hey. And Laurel, our driver, is feeding her face right now. <laughs> so. Hello, citizens. Hello, citizens. Thank you. Please. <laughs> Halftime show. Thank you, Robbie. Yeah, yeah, you you look a little different than that halftime show. Yeah, I do, don't I? So now you've heard the professionals. Yeah. The first thing you have Ricky and I after that. Hey, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, we are, hey, by the way, we're happy to have one of the best in the business, one of the best rodeo announcers in the business, Mr. Craig Simons. And we got Thank Big you. Rafter. And look here, George Kemper. He's not with Big Rafter. I don't know what you're doing. Today. I don't know. One of our stock contractors. Yes. The uh, Silver Spurs Rodeo tonight, the Bulls and Horses. I don't know how they get out of the state of Oklahoma, but they do. I don't know. Good morning. Here we are. Welcome to the park. Silicon County Sheriff. Hey, this is all of our queens right here. Who do we got? We're, hey, we're getting short. We haven't. I'm not gonna let all of y'all talk. But here's what we're gonna do. I want you to just say uh, your name and where you're from, really quick, speed dating style, right? Okay. Since you guys made the trek, and I want all these folks to know that we don't just have local royalty, we bring it in from all over the country. So I'm going to let them go down the line right here and say their name, where they're from. Hi, my name is Sierra Butler, Miss Rodeo, Wyoming, and I am from the cold, cold state, so so happy to be here. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Taylor Hymas, and I am Miss Rodeo, Idaho. Hi, everyone. I'm Alexa Daly from the Show Me State. I am Miss Rodeo, Missouri. Good morning, everyone. I am Emma Bear, Miss Rodeo, Iowa, representing the Hawkeye State. I'm Brady Jones from the Beehive State of Utah. Hi, I'm Bailey Lear from the Cornhusker State, Nebraska. Hailing from Montana, I am Miss Rodeo, Montana, Brianne Grimshaw. Hello, everyone. I am Sydney Albritton. I'm from West Monroe, Louisiana, and I'm Miss Rodeo, Louisiana, 2022. Hi everybody, I am Zoe B, Miss Rodeo, Kansas. And it sound like you've been having a good time. <laughs> hey, hey, my name is Ashley Baller and I am Miss Rodeo, Colorado. Good morning everyone, my name is Jackie Scary. I am representing the Golden State of California. Good morning y'all, my name is Valerie Preston, Miss Rodeo, Tennessee. Hi, I'm Kennedy Riggs and I come from the Sweetheart State of Arizona. 
Hello everyone, I am Jessica Moore from the Dairyland State. I am Miss Rodeo, Wisconsin. Hi, I'm Gabby Shahara from the Silver State. I am Miss Rodeo, Nevada. I am Amber Welch, Miss Rodeo, North Carolina. From the Rough Rider State, I am Elise Burwell, Miss Rodeo, North Dakota. From the city that doesn't sleep, I'm Erica Broman, Miss Rodeo, New York. Hello everyone, I am Miss Rodeo, Arkansas, Falling Music. From the Rushmore State, my name is Adrienne Shoneman, Miss Rodeo, South Dakota. I am Anna Woolsey from the Sooner State of Oklahoma as Miss Rodeo, Oklahoma. Hey, hey, how about it? Thank you to our rodeo queens. I've just been advised that I'm never allowed to do that again because there's too big of a gap now. So, hey, drive fast. That you won't get pulled over by the sheriff, I promise you. Next time we have another cannon for school board, Debbie no. Mann. Scratch that. <laughs> Fat boys. Yeah. Fat boys. Sorry about that. Yes, Fat, Fat boys. boys. Of St. Cloud. Fat boys of St. Cloud. Make sure you get awesome breakfast at St. Cloud. Everybody knows that. Next up, the Office of Emergency Management. You're all by yourself? <laughs> okay. We work with our local and regional partners to reduce the loss of life and property in emergency events, such as yeah. And then you get what are you trying to be like positively Osceola or Andrew, right? Oh look, they've got the drone going. How about it? Thank you, Andrew Sullivan. They serve as a resource for all the residents in Osceola County. Now, next up, another candidate for Osceola County School Board District 5, Debbie Mann. Debbie, thank you for stepping up. Debbie, how many years at Harmony? 15 years teaching. Thank you, Debbie. We appreciate you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't need candy. Look at me. <laughs> Better solutions. Where are we at? Yeah. We've got a mix up. What is this one? Martin Cormay. Martin Cormay. See, I should. I knew it was, but I didn't want to jump the gun. If you guys are looking for a family fun event when it comes to the fall of the year, late September, October, the first of November, make sure you check out the Martin Family Cormays down south of St. Cloud on the Blue Creek River. Wave, cowgirl. <laughs> hey, these are just fillers. Just looking pretty on their horses. Hey, hey! I know this cowboy right here. I used to work with him out at the Kissimmee Sports Arena. Everybody welcome world champion drink rover, Trevor Dreyer! Yes, thank you, Trevor. Absolutely. Hey, if you if you want to see an awesome act, his full act is unbelievable. How about our quadrille team, our junior quadrille team? How about them? Yeah. So these guys are Silver Spurs junior quadrille team. You got to wave and smile, son. Our junior quadrille team one day turns into this. Prancing horses down the <laughs> This is our senior quadrille team. Let me tell you what, they looked really, really good last night. They did a great, great job. How about it? Keeping the tradition alive, the senior Silver Spurs quadrille. And that guy won't be long, he'll be in the Pee Wee quadrille. <laughs> Next up, we're at the end, our big boss. Ladies and gentlemen, have you enjoyed our parade today here in St. Cloud, Florida? <laughs> How about the big boss of the Silver Spurs, Mr. Dustin Brunson? I don't know if he can hold the microphone and the horse at the same time. Hi, everybody. I'm Dustin Brunson. This year's uh, Silver Spurs big boss. 
I really appreciate the crowd and thank you all for coming out. Thank you, man. Oh, oh, um, come and play the radio. We're having the radio tonight at 7.30 and tomorrow at 2 o'clock. So come on and see us. Rodeo tonight at 7.30, tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate you. Thank, for, thank you for being here. Who's going to the rodeo to make some noise? All right. Thank you to Randy and Chris, the best pooper scoopers in the business. Hey, since we kind of invaded their territory tonight, or this morning, not tonight. This morning, how about we support these local businesses right here in downtown St. Cloud. Get some breakfast and get some lunch right here. And since you're already here, enjoy breakfast and lunch right here in downtown St. Cloud. On behalf of your Osceola County School Board member in District 4, Clarence Thacker, I'm Ricky Booth. Thank you for being with us today. Yes, thank you for being here. We hope to see you again next year.